at 330, we've got number 11, Penn State, who's 7-1. and one. Trevor to Maryland, who's 5-3. Penn State favored by 9 points on Fox. Drew Aller has gone 156-254, thrown for 1,655 yards, 16 touchdowns, 1 interception. Katron Allen's had 105 carries for 482 yards and 3 touchdowns. Keandre Lambert just had 43 catches for 550 yards and 4 touchdowns. Tawalia Tagovailoa lower for the Terrapins. It's gone 189 to 296, thrown for 2,200 yards, 19 touchdowns, 6 interceptions. Roman Hemby on the ground has had 88 carries for 441 yards and 4 touchdowns. And Jashawn Jones had 36 catches for 496 yards and 3 touchdowns. Penn State is 42-3 and three against Maryland all-time. Last two games have gone to Penn State in 2021 and 2022. Maryland hasn't won at home against Penn State since 1961. It's been a hot second since they defended home field. And I think what's really interesting about this game is both these teams are coming off rough weeks, right? Penn State has came off a little bit of a slumber after a heartbreaking loss to Ohio State. They went and they played Indiana at home. And Indiana had that game tied with not that like about two minutes to go in that football game. Now, we all know what happened is Drew Aller threw a bomb to Keandre Lambert Smith. They gave him a touchdown lead and the defense stepped up and got a safety for the win, basically. Um so that was a rough game if you're a Penn State fan, and that was that was a moment where a lot of Penn State fans are going to start to panic. And I'm not saying you shouldn't, because that's a rough one. That was a rough Indiana game heading into a Maryland team that is significantly better than Indiana. And if you're looking at it, next week you play Michigan, arguably the best team in the nation. Sure, you're in Beaver Stadium, but if you play like you did against Indiana, you will not win that football game, and you will not come within 30 of winning that football game. Maryland's an interesting 5-3 and three squad, right? They started the season 5-0. and oh, They looked awesome. And then they had a decent lead against Ohio State, and then they let it slip away. And Ohio State wins that game. They end up covering. And then it kind of starts to slip away. Their season starts to slip away. The next week, they lose a heartbreaker to Illinois. And that one really hurt because Illinois is not a great Big Ten squ squad. And it was a game you should have had. It eliminates you for playoff contention in Maryland. And then you head into the bye week. And you're like, okay, you're going to get right. You're coming back against a weak Northwestern squad. And then you lose to Northwestern. And it was a close loss. And it's like, if those Illinois and Northwestern games go the other way, I feel like we're talking about Maryland very differently. We're talking about a 7-1 and Maryland squad taking on a 7-1 and Penn State squad. Suddenly it's an elimination game. And you're talking about this a lot differently. But right now we're talking about a Penn State squad that's 7-1 and and a Maryland squad that's 5-3. and three. They're still defending home field. This is still a decently scary Maryland squad. This is a Maryland squad that I expected to be the fourth best team on our, that side, which isn't, you wouldn't think would be saying a whole hell of a lot, but you're talking about uh, three of them are ranked in the top twelve, top 11. So, I mean, one of them's the number one team in the nation. The other, another one's the number three, and the other one's number 11. And so it's like, yeah, it's hard to compete with that. But I thought Maryland was going to be that team. It very, still very well might be. Um, but Rutgers is playing some dang good football. And if I had to put them right now, Rutgers is the fourth best team in the big that side of the Big Ten. That's a big game for Maryland. Chance for, to give fans an upset. I mean... Sure, you don't need to compete for anything this year, right? Like, next year is when it sets up for you if you're Maryland, right? You don't have to draw Ohio State, Michigan, and Penn State every year. And you instead can draw other teams that you actually have a shot against if you're Maryland. And maybe you can go on a run and have a shot at a playoff berth, right? So, like, that's the thing if you're Maryland, especially considering the way the program's kind of turned around um, under Mike Loxley, who's really a tremendous coach. Um, Penn State needs this one. They need to win this one handily, and they need to get some momentum heading into the Michigan game. I think they do. Maryland's a little bit of a mess right now. I mean, so is Penn State, but I think this is Penn State was playing with their food a little bit against Indiana. They were trying some things that they shouldn't have. Uh, Penn State will be a lot more serious about this Maryland game. Maybe Penn State to win and cover on the road.